Hello, it's Nicola Ellen of Nicola Ellen Illustration and this is my travel art kit set up for the holiday I'm about to go on uh, to North Yorkshire. So I've got a range of drawing pencils in different shades there, um, H, H's and 2B's, 3B's, um, I've got a Faber Castell pit pen as well and a cotton bud there, um, which is really nice to uh, shade in, um, blend pencils. Um, and I've got a white pencil crayon there as well. Um, and this is my selection of Neo Colors 1 and 2, uh, the water-based, uh, the wax oil pastels. The water-soluble ones are really nice as well because you cover a really nice uh, area, cover an area nice and quick. Um, this is a small tube of vintage watercolors from Wallace Seymour that packs really nice and easily and my well-loved and well-used palette of watercolour paints and water brush that I've, I've had both for, for years and they add colour really nice and quickly to a quick sketch. Pencil sharpener for all these pencils and a bulldog clip for um, keeping the pages from blowing about in the wind. And this is uh, my artist role, which is by Ali Capellino from Tate for Tate, where it doesn't take too much space up in my bag once it's all rolled up together. So uh, sketchbooks, I've got an A6 black paper sketchbook that I bought just for fun uh, to experiment with different colours and paints. Um, my favourite teeny tiny sketchbook there. Um, that's, that just stays in my pocket all the time that I can whip out to do some really super cute, uh, super quick sketches. This one's another C, C. White of Brighton uh, sketchbook uh, that's usually always in my bag um, just for quick sketches as well. I've got all sorts in, in there. Um, this one um, is an A5 sketchbook uh, that I think is from Hobbycraft, uh, not used that much yet, um, but yeah, nice and easy to pack away in my bag. And this one is um, a mix of, uh, it's a homemade sketchbook that I've put together from lots of uh, scrap papers and different coloured papers that I've had hanging around in the house. Um, and that's really nice just to uh, experiment with, especially when I've got a bit of time to sit and draw uh, for a while. I can add colour um, and yeah, that's a really nice uh, one to experiment with as well. And that is how it all rolls up nicely there. That is my kit that will go in tote bag in my suitcase, um, apart from the bits, that, uh, the two little black sketchbooks that sit in my bag or my pocket. So this is uh, the sketchbook, um, fits in my pocket with a 2B pencil um, without taking too much space. They're easy to grab and I use 2B pencil because it makes marks really easily without smudging and it, it's, it grips the paper really nicely. Uh, so this one's a CY of Brighton portrait sketchbook that's always in my bag. I've got a H pencil there with it. It does not grip the paper very well. Um, so I do need to swap that one out. And, and then, yeah, and then these are the other sketchbooks that will fit in my bag as and when I decide I'm going to use them. This is the wrap, what the wrap looks like filled and the pencils will go in here. In this, little pocket here um is there is my pencil sharpener my ink the cotton pad there's pencils in there and zip that zips up really nicely and this just folds up really neat um in my bag um alongside other sketchbooks bottle of water food um I have a small family, so uh, other bits fit in my bag. Um, often a kite as well for windy beach walks. So I won't use these uh, books every day. They don't all fit in my bag. It just depends on what fits in uh, and what I'm doing at the time. If I think I might get a chance to sit down and draw, um, then I'll take those out accordingly or I'll sit uh, outside our cottage of an evening if I can and do some drawing there as well. There you go. That's my setup.